This program is being provided by the 15 members of the Vancouver Educational Telecommunications Consortium, TV Etc. Welcome to CR News. I'm Jason Nicholson. And I'm Ian David. This month we are introducing to you our new principal, Mr. Alex Odepal, who comes to us from the Evergreen School District. We also give you an update on some club activity and we have a belated wrap up of our winter sports with a season ending scoreboard. But first, we are going to start our show off with some awesome news. We just learned that Columbia River High School has been ranked a U.S. News Best High School with a ranking of number 1304 out of 22,000 schools. Columbia River ranked 35th within the state of Washington and attested above both the state and the district level in all standard proficiency exams. The SAA made the rankings, as did Camas High School. We were the only three schools in Southwest Washington to achieve this honor. Schools were awarded a gold, silver, or bronze medal based on the state proficiency standards, how well they prepare students for college and overall student body information. River earned a silver medal. Way to go, Chiefs. If you want to check out the rankings, you can go to usnews.com forward slash education forward slash best dash high dash schools. We have a new associate principal here at CR who is going to be taking over from our current principal, Christina Ironmonger, next year as she moves on to the new STEM school. Mr. Odepal will be our new head principal. Mr. Odepal has been here since March 1st, and he will take over as the active principal on July 1st. I uh, came down to the Portland area for college um, and went to the University of Portland, um, really like the uh, Portland-Vancouver uh, area. Then he went to teach in Louisiana for a couple of years. And then um, decided I wanted to become an administrator, um, so I went up to the University of Washington for a year. Um, and then moved back down to the Portland area. Worked at Benson High School for a couple of uh, years as a vice principal um, in Portland Public Schools. And then um, built a house, settled up in uh, Vancouver. Um, worked at uh, Heritage High School in the Evergreen School District for five years. And then last year moved over to Skyview for a couple months. And then now here at River and I hope to stay. I have uh, been married for 10 years now to my wife, Anna, who I met at the University of Portland. Uh, we have two kids. Uh, Lucas is uh, seven and our daughter May is five. Uh, we just got a new puppy uh, who was uh, about four months old. So we're, uh, uh, we're all learning how to be uh, good dog owners and uh, train that puppy together. Alex has lived in the area for most of his life and his family also lives here. One of my uh, things that's always driven me is uh, having clear goals and making sure I'm putting forth uh, every ounce, uh, every possible uh, bit of energy to make sure those goals uh, become real. Mr. Odepal cites respect, integrity, and hard work as his chief values. Well, I like to be upfront uh, with people, uh, try to get um, the real clear and concise messages out there. People, I think, will uh, quickly realize I'm pretty enthusiastic, and uh, I'm an extrovert by uh, nature, and so I'll be out and about. Alex is thrilled to work at River, and he hopes to continue building on River's tradition of success. Celebrating the 50 years of history that's uh, been established here is a, is a great opportunity for us to really look around for um, the spring uh, and into the fall about uh, what's been built. River celebrates its 50th anniversary this fall, and Mr. Odepal will continue to build upon Columbia River's history of excellence. We're learning about uh, what people here value uh, uh, in the building comment will be Goals, trying to understand where we are and then help build a, a future for where we're going. Mr. Odepal has a history of the AVID program and he hopes to use his experience to better the IB program. I haven't met anybody here who doesn't love it and want to be here and so bringing together those people to have good conversations about uh, how we can support one another. Alex hopes to be a static presence in classrooms to show that he cares about the learning of our students. Yeah, I'm really excited to be here. I, uh, 
um, the kids have been great. Uh, it's really a unique experience to walk into a building in the middle of the year and be new and have people be so welcoming. Um, I had a student walk up to me yesterday and just ask me how I was liking it and if I was doing okay. Um, and I, that's those types of things don't don't happen in other in other uh, buildings and other places. And so to have the kids. Um, in the community just uh, really embrace and welcome new folks here is, is pretty special. And there's a, d a different kind of kid goes to kind of work and so to work with those, uh, work those individuals. However, just because he's an administrator doesn't mean he wasn't a regular high schooler once. My most embarrassing high school moment. Um, I went to a high school a lot like Columbia River, um, kind of a uh, smaller school, about uh, 1,200 kids. Uh, my brother and I had the same English teacher. Uh, he was two years ahead of me, and so his senior year, he had Mr. Lorenzo for English as a senior, and I had Mr. Lorenzo for English as a 10th grader. I just got my license, and um, he and I uh, had an opportunity to share a car from time to time, and I had my own keys made. Um, and so at uh, first lunch, where I had first lunch, I uh, once in a while would take the car out. Uh, out, we had open campus, of course, and so uh, I would never leave a closed campus. Um, so I took uh, the car off campus, parked it in a different spot. He found out about it uh, because he came back to school and realized, or he went out to lunch, tried to go out to lunch and realized that the car wasn't where he had parked it in the morning. So he walked right into Mr. Lorenzo's class where I was sitting uh, in my English class and uh, kind of let me have it. Uh, Mr. Lorenzo really liked him, um, and so uh, he kind of let that uh, uh, let him in to, to talk to me uh, about moving the car. Um, the, the embarrassing that was one portion of it uh, being embarrassing. The second part was that I was sitting in a group with a girl I kind of had a crush on. We were working on a project together, and uh, to come in and uh, have my brother uh, uh, kind of let me have it was a little bit embarrassing. Didn't work out with uh, that girl, but uh, ended up getting married, and I'm perfectly happy now. So it all ended up being okay. So. Like most of us, Mr. Odepal draws inspiration from his family. Uh, my parents and my family uh, have really, I think, had the, the greatest influence upon uh, me. Um, kind of uh, making sure that uh, integrity is first and foremost, making sure that um, we are uh, dedicated to the work we're doing, that we put our best forward uh, at every possible moment. So but I'm really uh, grateful to have two shining examples of my mom and my dad. Um, and then my, my family, my kids, uh, really inspire me to keep uh, things on the right foot and making sure that setting up programs that I would want them to be in is really a kind of a driving force for me. So I look forward uh, as well as looking back. So three colors should be red, green... We'd like to welcome Mr. Odepal to Columbia River. We look forward to his enthusiasm and fresh new outlook. As our saying goes, it's a great day to be a chieftain. After a one-year hiatus, our SkillsUSA broadcast news team was back at it this year, along with the addition of a new Quiz Bowl team. SkillsUSA is a national organization. It's a club for um, students in high school uh, connected with career technical education. <laughs> SkillsUSA is preparing me for the future because I would like to go off to college and study computer engineering or possibly, possibly communications. Students have the opportunity to compete in conferences, competitions, activities, events, all designed to um, challenge them and connect them up or, or put them against other students from around the United States. Where three teams will go out of that round and compete in the final round, and that's the way it is at nationals as well. After all of our teams and individuals placed in regionals, we moved on to the state competition where our first broadcast news team, consisting of Spencer Thomas, Chance Cunningham, myself, and Danielle B. Rudy, placed second, along with our second team, who placed third. Our quiz bowl team of Casey Decker, Danny Dowler, Spencer Thomas, Ian David, and Chance Cunningham placed first and are moving on to nationals at the end of June. Way to go, boys, and good luck at nationals. Our Columbia River greenhouse is finally finished with construction, and for its grand public unveiling, the horticulture class hosted their annual plant sale. Sierra's horticulture program opened their new greenhouse doors to the public, selling the plants they have been transplanting and tending since the beginning of the year. Everything from tomato plants to hanging baskets were sold, hoping to raise over $9,000 for the program. Way to go, Chiefs. Turning now to sports, stepping back to our winter season, our wrestling team had many successful athletes emerge this year. 
We had a great wrestling season this year. We had a lot of kids improving every day, getting better. We had a lot of success in just improving on skill sets and strengthening and, and conditioning. And we um, competed really well throughout the league, throughout district and regional tournaments. And it was a really exciting year to work with these guys. We had a great group of senior kids. We had uh, Jason Nicholson and Britt Williams, Sam Shoney, um, Brandon Miller. Real young program though. We had a really young freshman, sophomore group this year, a couple juniors. So hopefully in the future we can see some kids, large number of kids getting better and being as tough as these seniors were. We had uh, just Sam Shoney for the girls team make it to the state tournament this year. And then we had Britt, Jeremiah, Patrick, and Sam and Jordan Harrop make it to the regional tournaments this year as well. We had quite a few kids competing at the district tournament and just real close to having an opportunity to go to the regional tournament. So it was exciting. Congratulations to Samantha Shoney, Britton Williams, Jeremiah Patrick, and Jordan Harrup for making it past the district tournament to compete at regionals. Sam moved on to state and was finally defeated in the third round. Way to go, Sam. Well, we're doing really, really well. And this year, we are right in the, in, in the hunt. I love it. It's, it. it's the highlight of my day. I always look forward to coming to practice. Um, it's great to spend time with your friends and learn new things. And it's overall fantastic. The team has new recruits that are better than ever. Um, we've done pretty good. We've had a lot of new girls, a lot of new freshmen who are just awesome. Like one of our lead bowlers is a freshman and she's just absolutely amazing. I just, I love doing it. A lot of fun. Um, it just, you know, every day you get to come out and go bowling with all your friends and it could just be a fun day and sometimes it can get stressful, but other, overall you get to hang out with all your friends and talk with them and just have a good time. I would definitely recommend it. It's a great way to socialize with other people, um, meet new friends, learn new things from other people. It's, I would definitely recommend it. Yeah, I would recommend it. It's, it's a fun thing to do. It's been awesome. It's helped a lot with my bowling, and it's really helped me improve. In the end, our CR Bowlers competed at districts and ended their season with a fifth place district standing. CR's girls gymnastic team had large shoes to fill after placing in state for the past few years. The Chieftain Gymnastics team led by head coach Alicia Green is having a healthy and successful season this year. So far the team is looking great. We're already ahead of the game by being mostly injury free. And this year we're just hoping to make it to state again as a team and um, definitely place in the top four. Senior leaders Jen DeBellis, Vanessa Herkert, and Beth Miranda are keeping every player on track for state this year. If we win districts this year, we'll be, it will be the 14th time that we've won districts in a row. Oh, this year, it's definitely one of our better years. Um, we have a lot of new good people on the team and a lot of people that are really improving and everybody's just coming out here to have a lot of fun and our varsity team's going to do really well. I'm definitely excited to compete at the state level. Potentially we'll see how it goes for the rest of the year and I'm just really excited for my team. It's 
all girls should go out for gymnastics because it's no cut and it's seriously the most fun sport you can ever have because it doesn't matter if you can do a cartwheel because you will learn how to do everything and anything. The whole team plays second in state, with senior Jennifer DeBells placing 11th as an individual. Way to go, girls. The boys' swim team had a successful season this year. Nick McMillan in the 200 freestyle placed 11th in state, and in the 500 freestyle, he placed 17th in state. Rainier Harvey in the 500 free placed 21st in state, while Ben Grubb placed 23rd in state for the 100 free. In the 200 free relay, Ben Grubb, David Snuffin, Josh Nenave, and Kevin Sanderson placed 21st in state. In the 400 relay, Ben Grubb, Nick McMillan, Josh Nenave, and Kevin Sanderson placed 20th in state. These guys did awesome up at state. Way to go. And that's all we have for today's show. On the next CR News, we'll wrap up activities and events for the year and have a wrap up of our spring sports. If you'd like more information about events or activities happening here at River, please check out our website at river.org or contact our front office at 313-3900. Thanks for watching. Go Chiefs!